Hey guys, Rena here, and today we're going to talk about APIs and Next.js. How can we create an API using Next? and also how to deploy it and make it more performant. We understand a few tricks with Next.js in order to create a good API that can handle loads of requests. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and stay tuned. So to start with, um, I have here an empty folder where we create our projects using X and we create a very simple endpoint that we return a date. So first let me create the app. Now that we have the app, we're gonna go to the API next, right? And here is where we work with. Well, we can see that the API next folder was created and the folder structure of a next application. So let's go to execute this project so here is the fresh new uh, next application so now we're gonna create an endpoint to retrieve the current date we're gonna go to pages we have this api folder there will contain all of our endpoints i'm gonna create a new folder called date now endpoint right we're gonna export the default uh, function we call it now and this function receive requests and response. So with the request and the response, we're gonna generate a new date. And I'm gonna here um, convert this into GMT string. And I'm gonna now add the response, we need to use res.json and we return the format, right? Which is the GMT string. In order to execute that, we're just gonna go API date now. Here we go, we have our date. You can see that each refresh, you can see a new second, right? Because we are returning always a new date. So first thing we need to do to deploy the application, I'm gonna create a new project on GitHub. So I'm gonna give the name next API. Now we have the next application on GitHub and now we're gonna connect this to Vercel. So let me go to Vercel. New project. I will import our next API here. And basically everything will be standard. Next API project name and I'm gonna deploy. thousand years later our application was deployed here is our fresh application let's test our endpoint api date now and here is our response which is updating each second so now we're gonna add stay while revalidate this is a very important concept in next because it will cache your response and we keep answering with the cache in 10 seconds in 10 seconds we'll revalidate this response and we'll update the cache this is a very good for performance of your apis so we're gonna add the header i add here 10 seconds as a max age of the cache With that, we have the stay a while revalidate for 10 seconds as a cache. This, it's not gonna work local because you're not using Vercel environment to actually add the cache. So let's deploy this again to Vercel and then we're gonna see how it's gonna work on the end. Let me just um, commit that and Vercel will take care of the deployment for us.
a new deployment was queued and now it's building. We can go and see the progress of it. 2000 years later. And now we're gonna visit and see the endpoint using an API right now. So now I'm gonna refresh here and you see that the seconds is not changing and it's because I'm receiving the cached response. After 10 seconds, this is updated to 41. Then we keep refreshing, it's giving me the cache date. So this is very important for you. It's so easy to set up the cache, the API with Next and Vercel. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned.